my account has been blessed with two void legendaries in two years that's if you consider having one void legendary per year a blessing as they totally free to play i'll consider that as a good one mostly because i did not get a duplicate legendary void legendary champion the first one was osoga the war color and the second one is corona and you can see i have a lot of void epics and the best rares also so i'm going to go ahead and pull my void shards in this video i just wanted to start the <laughs> the video in that place so we see what we're expecting because i think i'm kind of close to pity i do currently have 26 void shards left let's quickly claim the um clan boss reward and see if we can add some more to that number of void shards we do have also i do have a free to play account that i will be switching over and pull on that account the one champion i still don't have in terms of epics for voids is score crown now i know there are some big heavy hitters in the arena in terms of void champions but i don't think i can get your you know those bride and groom combo cp and rotos or whatever they call them i forget which of them is void always i know one of them is a normal um, champion all right let's see what we'll get from the ultra nightmare chest do we get any void shot nah just good old fashioned oh we do get a sacred when we don't expect it all right so i'm building up my sacred um void shards also so let's start this shard pool video without wasting much time i do have 26 i'll pull 10 first of all and then we do single pulls for the rest of the shards do i have space yes i do Ten pulls for 26 voice shard pulls seems like it's extreme, but hey, I'm willing to do it fast. Cage bound, that's one of the rares, a new rare that was released recently. Lights one, I do have a lot of this champion, and I have duplicates of him, and I do not need more of it. So now I'll switch over to single pulls and see if my luck comes. I'll do five single pulls and then ten pull. I don't keep res anymore all these void res will be used as food but for my newer account i'm still looking for a cold heart on the noob to pro a cold heart will really really help with the spider and a lot of other content i guess i'm not trying to get points for the is it champion chase or a tournament i forget which one they started i think it's a chase it's not a summon rush let's see Hopefully you guys get all the champions you are hoping to get. I need a score crown in terms of um, because I do have a lot of champions that do all ally attack, right? All the best ones you can think of. I do have a long beard, I Farrakhan the Fat, and I think what's her name? Lanakis. The last one I pulled in a video that does all ally attack too. I do have all of them, but I. I have not yet built a blender team, you know, one of those teams that once they take a turn, everything is dead. So that's the team I'm trying to build next for the arena. My current team with Bigon works well, but I do need the people who do it best are Skull Crown and Sinesha. When you see those two in, in a combo with Longbeard, you know you're not going to survive that hit once they take a turn. No matter how tanky you are, except you sacrifice one of your champion who soaks up all the damage and then you survive i guess are we not get, going to get any other epic come on i've been pulling rares 10 rares so far i think dagger is kind of useful if you're kind of new to the game you don't need a war maiden if you have a dagger i see people get a war maiden even when they do have a dagger already four more void shots to go single pulls let's go rock beast you think is needed for a fusion Yeah, finally a void. And it's Prunda. Not the one I want. Is this my first Prunda? I think so. I don't I don't have this champion in my account. What does Prunda do though? On the A1 decrease speed 30% to stun. On the A2 provoke. 50% chance to provoke for one turn. Increase defense on himself. Or herself himself um, on the a3 places 25% strength in buff continuous heal on everybody so 
strengthen continuously on a four turn cooldown. Receive 20% less damage from enemies under provoke. So while they, he's, he's provoking them, they do less damage. Has a 25% chance to counter attack when an enemy under provoke debuff attacks either this champion or an ally. How can they be under provoke debuff and then attack somebody else when you are the provoke champion? <laughs> Aura in Doom Tower defends by 30%. So he was built to be a Doom Tower champion. I guess if you don't have any other options on your team this looks like a champion that can tank the waves something like a vogot who is soaking up the damage while all your other um, allies do damage without getting targeted so i guess that's the job of a tronda a pronda and i'm not going to be using this champion i don't need that all right one more void shot to go And that's it. No crazy pulls on my main account this week, I guess. Let's switch over to the noob to pro and hopefully that noob to pro get at least one good rare from the void shots we have. Be right back. Alright, we're on the noob to pro account, totally free to play. I think it's about on day 100 or so. And let's see what we get from the clan boss drops. No void shard over here, none over here either. On hard, we might get nah, none. All right, let's head over to the portal. And who, how many do we have? Eight, just eight. This void shard we are saved from the last ten, um, from the last time that we had the two X on voids. So that's kind of reasonable for a not totally free to play account of less than um, 100 days or about 100 days to get 8. Let's see what we can get from it. I'm just hoping for one good epic from all these pools. Or even one rare, one good rare. Whether it's Reliquary Tender or Cold Heart. That would make the shard pools totally worth it. So far, no good rares. Why am I running out of space already? Come on. I have five more space. Oh, I run out of silver. How is that even possible? <laughs> Be right back. All right, I sold some stuff, get some more silver. We have six more voids to go. And hopefully we get that rare or epic we are looking for. That can change our dungeon progression a little bit or make it a bit faster. I do have a new to pro update coming up tonight before i'm done at the office finally we made some progress on the account in terms of dragon 20 so i do have an update to give about that watch out for that video coming later in the day we are down to three more voids and still no useful void rare or epic it's not looking like it's our day even on my main account and on the noob to pro i'm hoping that one of these accounts can just change things you know that's why i pull on both of them so if one has bad luck this week the other one can redeem us, but it's not going to happen this week, is it? Come on, give us one good rare. The last void is going to be a cold heart or reliquary tender. Is it? Well, we'll take it. A renegade works. A renegade works. Although we are nowhere near getting a seer. We'll take what we can get. That's also something I forgot to mention. My main account still doesn't have a seer. So that would have been nice to have on that account. But we'll take a Renegade because apart from Forsea comms, Renegade can be used for other comps also. But not on my account right now. I don't have I don't need a reset champion right now for my teams. Alright, that has been the chat pool. It was extremely underwhelming. So every chat pool video on this account is not always great and this is one of the bad weeks i guess in terms of void if you're gonna pull void shards you have to pull about 100 for you to get something useful or something worth being joyful or happy about 20 or 30 void shards is clearly not enough to for us to pull anything worth our time all right that has been this video hit that like button to support the channel or tell me sorry in the comments below for not pulling anything useful let me know also what you guys pull in this void shard 2x week i don't know if there's any 10x that coincides with no no 10x just a simple plain old void 
2x which is kind of weird from plarium well we know why they couldn't plan an event about this one all right i'll see you guys in the next red shell video which will be an update video for this noob to pro later this evening later guys